The number of losses of the Wagner Group in Ukraine is, is increasing rapidly. Ukrainian soldiers are inflicting significant losses on Russian forces in Ukraine's east despite round-the-clock attacks by the occupiers. Hanna Malia, Ukrainian Deputy Ministry of Defense on Telegram, wrote it. The enemy's offensive is ongoing in Ukraine's east. The attacks are taking place around the clock. The situation is tense. Yes, it's hard for our troops. You can see for yourself what kind of war Russia is waging. However, our soldiers are preventing the enemy from accomplishing their goals and inflicting very serious losses. In particular, losses amount to up to 80% of personnel in some assault units of the Wagner Private Military Company and units of the 2nd Army Corps. Evacuation of those killed and wounded by the hostiles is limited or not carried out at all. As Malia states, Russia's significant losses have led to a significant decline in the level of credibility of the command's decision on combat operations among the personnel of the Russian occupation forces. An increasing number of Russian soldiers are realizing that their commanders are inadequately assessing the situation on the battlefield, as evidenced by the intensive use of so-called suicide squads, i.e. units staffed by insufficiently trained conscripted personnel who suffer heavy combat and sanitary losses every day, she reported. Besides, the new burial of people who might have died while serving as mercenaries in the Russian Wagner Group has been found near the occupied city of Luhansk. 47 graves of convicts were discovered in the village of Bakinskaya, Krasnoda Krai, in December. In just two months, the number of graves increased sixfold, as by the end of January there were 270 graves of dead convicts. Each of them contains a wreath with the red, black and yellow emblem that is found on the patches and flags of the Wagner Private Military Company.